Charging 1S LiPo batteries like these is a bit of a pain. I know when you buy a small drone that uses 1S LiPos like this, you'll normally get a small USB power charger, something like this. You just plug the batteries in and they'll just charge. And they may have multiple slots, so you can charge a few of these at a time. And if you're just starting out, that's absolutely fine, but you pretty quickly realize you just can't charge them fast enough to get out flying again. And although this way of charging LiPos does work, you'll probably not realize it's not the best way to charge them. So I'm going to show you a very cheap and easy way to charge 1S LiPos using a balance charger like this. That will save you a whole load of grief and a whole load of money in the long run. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. LiPo batteries need looking after. Even though these are cheap, if you've got enough of them, you've invested quite a bit of money. So it really pays to look after them. And like all batteries, LiPo chemistry means these need to be charged with the right voltage and current. But more importantly, they don't like being left for long periods at either full or low charge. Now a LiPo is happiest, it's a happy little battery, when it's at about 3.85 volts if it's not being used. And this is known as storage charge or storage state. So what you find is that if you leave these on the shelf over the winter when you're not using them and they aren't at storage charge, you'll probably find they're all puffed up and angry looking when you come back to them in the spring. Or they simply just won't charge. I've even seen these really bad ones where the cell polarity has got reversed. Very strange. Now you may find you can coax them back into life but it's more likely you'll need to bin them, responsibly of course, and get new ones. Simple cheap balance chargers like this Torqui RC M4 have all sorts of charging modes and you can set the charge voltage and current to whatever you like. And they do have a storage mode to charge the LiPo to the correct storage voltage. And because they're balance charger, they're more geared up to charge two, three and four S and even more LiPos. And that's like two, three or four of these single one S LiPos connected in series. I mean, that's all this four S is. It's four of these all connected together in series. And when you're using one of these balance chargers, they monitor the voltage of each of the shells, cells to make sure they're all charged to the same final voltage and at the same charge current. And these chargers don't really cater for 1S LiPos because there's only one cell and there's nothing to balance. So I'll show you how to use a simple cable like this to sort of fool a balance charger into thinking that these four 1S LiPos are like a single 4S LiPo. Now, I think you can probably see where this is going and feel free to jump to the next chapter on how it's done. But if not, here's a quick explanation. So this 1S LiPo, and in this case, it is a 300 milliamp hour GMB LiPo. Let's try and draw this out. That's a positive, that's a negative. So this is 1S, which is what we're trying to charge. And the voltage of this is at its low end, 3.3 volts approximately when it's fully discharged. And in the middle is 3.85 volts, which is storage charge. And when it's fully charged, it's at 4.2 volts. So you've got 4.2 volts here and zero there. So this is 1S, it's 300 milliamp hour hours and it's 4 point, let's put that down there, 4.2 volts. Now a 2S battery is just two of these in series like this. And that's how they're wired up. So that's positive, that's positive. And a 2S is basically, let's say, working on the fully charged voltage, 4.2 volts. That's 4.2 volts there, 4.2 volts there. It's still 300 milliamps because that's the capacity of the battery. 
so that's 300 milliamp hours and you simply add these together so that gives you 8.4 oops if I could write volts so a 3s you can see where this is going positive 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 4.2 4.2 4.2 4.2 that is 3s again it's still 300 milliamp hour, hour capacity but this time it's 12.6 volts you just add those together and 4s lo and behold is 4 times 4.2 volts so that's 4s again it's 300 milliamp hour, hour. and this time it is 16.8 volts so here we've got our four 1s cells circles around those so you can see where they are that makes sense and they're wired in series so we've got 16.8 volts fully charged zero volts and they are joined up positive negative positive negative and so on so if we look at this 4S battery that we've got here, that's how it's wired up. We've got four 1S cells all connected in series, fully charged It's 16.8 volts on one end on the red wire here, and it's 0 volts on the black. And then we've got a balance lead, which is five wires. Each of the joints between the two, between the adjacent cells goes down to the balance port and then you've got one main connection down to the XT30 or the XT60. We've got four 1S cells and we've got this cable and this simply connects up four 1S LiPos in series just like this diagram and has got a balance wire on each of the positive and negative cells and it's got the main charge connector here. And this means that you can plug it into your balance charger and safely charge these four cells at the same time in series and they'll all end up at the same fully charged voltage even if they were at different states of charge. So we've got our four 1S batteries on here connected on the Pico blade connectors that all go into the balance port on the charger and the main port is over here which is connected across all of them. This is charging at the moment at half an amp or 500 milliamps, charging at 4.2 volts. The overall voltage of all of these is 16.3 volts and you can just about see here the individual voltages are on the cell so one of them is 3.9 this is 4.1 4.1 and 4.2 so this is charging these four lipos as if they are one 4s lipo and that means that when you're putting these away for the winter you just select storage mode on your charger and even the cheapest of balance chargers has that mode these days and they'll all end up at 3.85 volts so when you come to use them again in the spring they'll be in tip-top condition although it is a good idea to check them every few weeks to check they're still at 3.85 volts you can easily make up a cable like this Let's just unplug that you just need four of these Molex Pico blade connectors an XT60 or an XT30 depending on your charger and a five pin balance connector and some wire or you can buy them ready made up I'll leave links to these for my shop in the UK for next day delivery and a link to similar ones at Banggood but these are dead easy to make now a quick word about selecting the correct charging voltage and current because like everything with charging you need to get it right in this case I've used four 1S LiPos and this cable puts them in series and these are rated at 300 milliamp hours so the correct charge voltage and current you should set on the charger is 4s or 16.8 volts at 300 milliamps or 0.3 amps that's a 1c charge rate which is what i recommend to treat the batteries very nicely you'll get four fully charged 1s lipos in an hour or less depending on how discharged they were you could bump up the charge current to charge them a bit quicker 
2C, which would be 600 milliamps or 0.6 amps, which would charge them in under an hour. You just need to remember the charge voltage is 4S or 16.8 volts. To be honest, I've lost track of how many people ask me if I can charge 1S LiPos on the latest charger that I've just reviewed. So hopefully all this answers all those questions. And I'll leave a list of suitable, really good chargers that will suit this technique. You can get a really good charger these days, starting at about 20 pounds or 25 to $30. And if you look after your 1S LiPos using this technique, you'll more than save the cost of a balanced charger. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you wanna see more like this, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new content. I'll see you next time.